Today I'm going to be making a honey soap. It's a pretty straightforward soap with a honey fragrance, a honeycomb on top. I'm using the Brambleberry 5 pound mold with a slight bottom here, very handy. Then for fragrance, I'm using dark honey on top of Co from Saint Perfect, very nice and spicy honey fragrance. And then I have the Bloom Gold Mica from You Make It Up. I will leave some links for some alternatives in your area because I'm here in Europe. So the first thing that I need to do is a little preparation for the honeycomb. Like I said, very easy. I'm just gonna use some bubble wrap, nothing fancy. The ones that you use to wrap some packages. And I just want to cut it to size because I won't need the entire width here. This technique, you can also use it for melt and pour if you want to emulate the honeycomb. I think it's a, it's a great and cute idea. All right, I'm going to set the mold aside for now because we want to, first of all, mix the lye water and the oils and then stick blend to emulsion. That's what I'm going to do now. I'm in a rush, a little bit in a rush today, and um, so I'm soaping a little less cool than usually. But I am not very worried because it's a very uncomplicated design. It's really just one color, so. I'm ready to add the colorant now. The fragrance oil, just so you see, so you can see the fragrance oil is quite dark, so it will discolor the soap also, but I just wanted to, you know, to be on the safe side and to have like a uniform kind of color here. It depends a little bit on your preference if you like a more rich color or a lighter one. I think this is a great color. I'm gonna leave it like this. And then I'm going to add the fragrance oil and then give it a stir just with a spatula. In goes the fragrance. It's very nice and yummy. And you can see it discolors the soap already now. I just want to give it a good mix. Because I found that when you don't mix it in very well, you can have some fragrance pockets, which is not great. Okay. Give it a little shake down, and now it's time to add the bubble wrap. Make sure the bubbles are facing down, and then you just want to press it. Then, like so.
All right, so the only thing left to do now is to wait until tomorrow and then see how it looks. Here we are the next day, ready to see how this soap here turned out. So I'm going to remove the bubble wrap. Let's cut her up. strings in between to avoid dragging the soap residues onto the soap, cut soap. It does smell amazing. And this is the sample size that I like to use for stamping to see whether or not stamping will be okay. As you can see, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. I'm going to let this cure for four to six weeks before packaging them up. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in other soap making related videos, please check out the playlist here on the screen where you will find many more. I hope to see you very soon in the next video and until then I wish you a wonderful day. Bye bye!